Success Hangover by Kelsey Ramsden. So here I am sitting in Starbucks, probably at a, about a half an hour away from my house, and I'm about to review this success hangover for, for you. And it's such a perfect place to review this book because this book is all about not settling for your daily routine and basically getting out there and changing up your routine so that way your life does not become boring. And yeah, it's not just about routine, but it's also about entrepreneurship. Uh, it mainly focuses on that. And actually, you do not have to be an entrepreneur in order to read this book. You can be an aspiring entrepreneur, you can be a small business owner, anything like that. And you will get lots of great tips from this book here. I mean, one of the things that I really loved about this book is it made me open up my eyes and make me think about where I want to be in the future. Uh, Kel uh, Kelsey Ramsden mentioned future proofing your future, which is basically making sure that your skills do not go out of date. So making your skills not go out of date. So talking about skills here, uh, Kelsey also mentions a lot about the university and how getting a degree does not necessarily guarantee that you're going to have a position in the future. Getting a degree is just a piece of paper, right? And yes, it may help you get some jobs that require to have a degree, but it's not going to be a guarantee. A lot of people are looking for skills nowadays. So if you have the skills of, let's say, a programmer, and you're really talented in this, but you don't have a degree, and then you go apply for a programming job, yes, maybe you might not have as good of a chance as someone with a programming degree, but if they somehow test you or something like that, then, and you show off your skills, then you're definitely going to have a great chance. Basically, the book is about continuously adapting and adding to your ingredients. She uses the metaphor of ingredients quite a bit throughout the whole book. Stock your ingredients. You never know when you're be going to be able to use those ingredients to your advantage. So she mentions, you know, actually one of the great tips that I've been trying to implement in my life right now and that I did implement in the past and then kind of stopped a bit is reading about certain topics that you don't normally read about. So one of the examples Kelsey used was she read a fisherman's magazine. I forgot the exact title of the magazine, but she would read this magazine and yeah, I mean, she's involved in business. She's got like two entrepreneurial awards from Canada but she's reading a fishing magazine and she's not really interested in that. But she says that she got a lot from those magazines. Uh, I she didn't specify what she got from them, but basically the point is, if you want to diversify your skills a bit and keep things interesting in your life, you should try to read certain articles or go different way to work or like I am right now I am at a totally different location that I normally go to about a half an hour away from my house normally I only go like 10 minutes to go get a coffee yeah so I'm changing things up and trying to keep things interesting the last thing I want to say about this puppy here is there are some fantastic exercises in the back of the book that she references in throughout the chapters of the book which are very useful there are a total of 12 exercises in here now I didn't complete all of them but I'm planning on going back through this book 
and doing the exercises on maybe a daily basis and coming back to those exercises at a later date that way I can refresh my memory so I really love that aspect of the book and if you actually take the time to fill out those exercises go through them and refer back to them I guarantee you that it will help you to future proof your life future proofing your life is very very important that way like for example when AI comes into play a lot of jobs are going to be replaced new jobs will become relevant in areas that we don't even know exist yet so we really need to stock up on those ingredients and do those exercises in this book so that way we can guarantee a successful future and not live in the life of a mediocre person we can c continue to keep our life very interesting so this book will definitely inspire you to keep your life interesting and keep your life going whether you've reached your definition of success or not read this book all right so i will be having some more book reviews and other interviews and other videos coming up in the next couple weeks so definitely stay up to date hit the the subscribe button hit the bell and I will see you next video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more valuable content. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys next time.